Welcome to all of our Gold Learning viewers. I'm Fiona Lang Sharp, IBCLC Director of Communications here at Gold Learning. Well, welcome to everyone tuning in today. I have the pleasure of sitting down with someone very special because she's going to be our upcoming keynote presenter at our Gold Neonatal Conference on June 4th. Jody Dolezal, welcome. It's so great to have you here. Thank you. I'm really excited to be here. Yes, and I, this is going to be such an amazing experience. I know all of you listening in, please tune in on the day and make sure you get registered. You can go to our website at goldneonatal.com. You do not want to miss out on this opportunity. Uh, Jody has an amazing presentation because I've had a sneak peek already. Uh, we're going to talk about that just in a minute. Um, but first of all, Jody, I would love it if you could introduce yourself to the audience that's listening in today. Just tell them a little bit about yourself and perhaps tell us a little bit what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, um, I am a registered nurse and I currently work in a children's hospital in West Palm Beach, Florida as the clinical coordinator in the NICU. And um, I just have a strong passion for preemies, uh, developmental care, parent teaching, and education as well. Um, I run Peekaboo ICU, which is an organization that's dedicated to NICU education. In power, empowerment and um, bridging the gap between parents and professionals in the NICU. Fantastic. Well, that's exciting. So, um, and, and clearly, I know that you work in the neonatal intensive care, but I want to hear a little bit about your story and how you got started on this journey um, as a registered nurse. Was this something that you had always desired to do? How did it happen for you that you became so passionate about working in the NICU and then went on, of course, in empowering families and teaching them so much. What, what was your, your background story, Jody? So yeah, it's always really been a part of me, which may sound a little strange, but um, I feel like I was born to do this work. Um, from the time I was 10 years old, I wanted to be a NICU nurse. So um, through high school, you know, doing the courses I needed to to get into nursing school and then ultimately graduating. I did have to do, you know, a little bit of adult care before I made my way to the NICU, but I wanted to do this from the time I can remember. Um, you know, most people don't know what the NICU is, but for some reason at 10 years old, that was my passion and um, it led me to where I am today. Wow, that's amazing. And, and I want to ask you, Jody, a little bit about the, the gap in care that you started to notice for our families as well, because you've created this, you know, it's a support network for families that are in the, in the NICU as well. And so tell me how that sort of came about when you were working there. Sure. So working at the bedside, I noticed there's, there's this huge gap between NICU um, nurses, actually, and NICU parents. Um, I think NICU nurses, you know, we become passionate in our care and we, we really um, hone in on the baby and sometimes we forget about the parent and what they're going through and we actually become very protective of that baby. So you can sometimes see there's a little tension between the parents and the, the nurses and, you know, the NICU staff um, as a whole, um, but having that communication and um, bridging the gap and finding, you know, just the pieces to bridge that gap is, is what um, my passion is. So just being at the bedside every day and seeing the needs um, has led me to develop um, the program that I have today. Fabulous. Well, that's very exciting, and, and that is a gap. And being a NICU parent myself, I know some of the things that were hard for me. And then also being a clinician as well, um, <laughs> sort of a double whammy of trying to see everything from all angles. Um, and everybody yeah. is so passionate. You know, we all have our passions, you know, in our areas that mean so much to us. And, and sometimes right. it feels like you're butting heads, you know, trying to get the work done. So this yeah. is wonderful. It just is wonderful to sort of bridge that gap. So thank you for what you do outside of what you're doing here. So that's wonderful. All right. So lastly, I'm going to invite you just to share or a couple of things about your presentation. What are you, what are you hoping that the delegates will take away um, from this presentation here at Gold Neonatal? 
So the presentation is the power of storytelling and the human experience in the NICU. And with um, the neonatal unit being a fast-paced, highly stressful environment, I think it's easy to lose sight of the story, what brings us all there and what keeps us there. Um, but it's through these stories that we can make a difference and actually change the impact in a positive way, um, not only for the parents, but for us as the professionals as well. So that's really um, the goal of this um, presentation is to really hone in on the stories um, that make us all part of the NICU and why we keep going back every single day. Wow. Well, it reminds me of the, the threads that bind us together. Or in your case, I know you have beads, which are just beautiful as well. I know that you have those on your, your website, and those are awesome. Well, thank you so much, Jody, for sitting down and chatting with me today. Oh, thank you very much. I'm really excited um, to share this topic, which is near and dear to my heart. So thank you. Absolutely. Well, I'm really, truly looking forward to hearing it, too. And for all of you listening in, quick reminder. So uh, to register for this presentation it is actually open access and free. So anyone can attend. Uh, you certainly don't want to miss out on that. It's going to be on June 4th. It's actually going to be presented twice on that day. Um, you do need to register for it. And that's super easy. You can go to our website, goldneonatal.com. Uh, to not miss out on that opportunity. And if you can't join us for one of the live events, it will be recorded as well, so you'll have an opportunity to listen to the recording as well. Well, thank you again uh, to Jody Dolezal for being with us here today and to our listening audience. Bye-bye for now, everyone.